Mary, when Tom was talking about the stones and his motivation, did I hear him rank his dog ahead of his sisters? <laughs> his wife was first. Right, and then he said his dog. Yeah, I'm not sure, but what's interesting about about Tom and about the Atlas Strange is that he truly believes, you know, he, he, he believes in concrete things and literal things. So if he says he's got to live them to save his family, he does it. Oh, I get it. I mean, Tom is 6'8", 400. Luke's almost as big. Where does their size come from? His dad didn't look that big. <laughs> it's not that big. And Sheila didn't look that big. Sheila wasn't that big. Look, these people are, these are large human beings. Um, and when you watch them work out, the stuff they do is amazing. Anytime people are that size, we think of pharmaceutical assistance. Um, have these guys been tested for roids? There is drug testing in, in this world. And they claim they've never, they've never failed a drug test. And they claim that they play the game. Um, how does Tom's autism still manifest itself? I mean, the, the whole idea uh, of what he has to do, the repetition and all of that, I mean, that's still, as he explained, he eats the same, he, you know, he's stuck in the same, a lot. He, can, he can scarf it down. Yeah. Um, you know, he trains the same way, so it's, it's like that. He needs routine, he needs routine, but as a kid, he couldn't even look someone in the eye, and now he can make a speech when he wins it. How many people can look him in the eye now? Six, eight, four. <laughs> also true. Give me a break. Thanks very much. For our last story this evening, we love